Bonjour. Um, hello, everyone. I just wanted to show you how to make a very simple soup called broccoli soup. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's also one of my family's favorites. So here are the ingredients. It's a very, very simple process. We have about two or three sticks of celery in this bowl chopped up. We have about two medium carrots chopped up, um, grossly chopped up. It doesn't have to be thin or anything because it's just gonna cook. And then we have about one big onion here. I'm using a red onion. You can also use yellow onions and you can put, if they're small, about two would be fine as well. So all these are chopped up and they're gonna uh, simmer in a little bit of olive oil. So I would put about two to three tablespoons of olive oil right here, let's see. Yep, that's good. Um, turn my stove on. Here we go. And I'm gonna put it on, let's see. That would be fine. And here we go. So I'm gonna start with the onions. Of course, you wash your hands. When you cook, you have to wash your hands several times, as a matter of fact. For 20 seconds on the hot, soapy water. Um, and here we go, the carrots are going in there. So we're gonna wait for this to cook a little bit. And stir it regularly so it doesn't catch at the bottom. So here we are, it's simmering and it's not quite ready yet. It needs to be stopped. Um, this is a little bit too raw still, so I'm gonna let it cook a little longer and cover it up okay so i'm gonna check to see it's been about 10 minutes uh let's see that looks about ready so my onion has started to look a little tender uh what i'm gonna do now is add my broccoli so i chopped up some broccoli of course you can use frozen broccoli that would be fine just just as well there's nothing wrong with frozen broccoli. Actually, it might be very convenient because you can store it longer in your freezer. Um, this happens to be fresh broccoli. I'm gonna just stir that a little bit. And then, soon after, here's what you're gonna add. I'm using water. Uh, you can also use uh, chicken broth or vegetable broth. I happen to use water because I use a product that's a bouillon, it's a concentrated broth, so I only need to add like a teaspoon at the end of this type of broth. Um, it's sometimes called chicken base. I'm using a um, vegetable base right, right now, uh, which I love. Um, you can use, I suppose, beef, beef broth as well. Um, but we'll talk about that. So what you wanna do just now is cover your vegetables with, with either chicken broth, liquid broth, or water. And I'm gonna go all the way up to the line of the vegetables. So I don't have enough in here. I'm gonna have to add more. Here we go. So a little bit more. And then we're gonna try to do this. Yeah, use a little bit more. Yeah, still a little more. It actually makes a good portion too. This will be for my family for probably two meals, I would think, unless they ask for seconds, which they always do, so maybe one meal after all. Um, so now the biggest job is done. You're gonna let that cook um, on medium stove. And when everything's tender and cooked, you, I'll show you what to do next. So let, let's leave it alone. It might take 15, 20 minutes. Uh, just keep an eye on it. You don't want the broccoli to be too overcooked. Um, but that's it for now. All right, so let's check this soup and see if my vegetables are cooked. Uh, I'm gonna take the lid off. Ooh, that looks pretty cooked. They need to be tender. So I'm gonna do a quick spoon. Make sure my broccoli is tender. Yep, it is. Make sure my carrots are tender. Here's my desk. Yep, I can split it with a spoon, so it's all set. So the next step will be to add a teaspoon. I'm using a, a long spoon, but I'm not filling my tablespoon, so it's just a little, I'll show you about this amount would do. So you're gonna add this to your, your soup. Now, of course, if you used um, chicken broth in a can, liquid, you don't need to 
uh, take that extra step here because your chicken broth will cover your seasoning. Um, and now I'm gonna use the blender to blend the soup. Now, you could have added a potato if you wanted to. In the beginning stages, when you add your broccoli, you can add a small potato. What does the potato do? It adds a little bit of um, thickness to your soup. Uh, some vegetables require that. Um, but I've, I've started making my soups without the potato to just see on the calories and the carbs. Um, and they turn out to be okay. But if you wanted something a bit thicker and creamier, by all means, add a small potato um, along with your broccoli and that would do the trick. But as you can see, my soup is nice and thick right now. Um, so let's keep on doing Now, of course, if you don't have a hand blender like mine, you can also use a regular blender where you make smoothies. It's a bit of, a bit more messy by experience. I'll tell you, transferring a hot, a hot soup into that and then transferring back is kind of a bit of a challenge. So I find that the hand blender works so much better. All right, so the soup looks awesome, nice and thick. I keep doing it until it's really felt to uh, no, no bits and pieces in there. Mm, it smells so good. Now, if you wanted to, what I like, because that's what the French do, that's what the Belgians do, they add a little bit of heavy cream. I have about one to two tablespoons of heavy cream right here, which I'm gonna add to the soup because it just gives it that little dimension that we like. And look at this, beautiful. That makes it creamy too. Check this out, your soup is just about ready to serve. So here's the thing. We did a broccoli soup today, but guess what? If you substitute the broccoli by spinach, you're gonna make yourself a really nice spinach soup. If you substitute the broccoli by cauliflower, you're gonna make yourself a wonderful cauliflower soup. So there's definitely room um, to make different flavored soups using the same recipe. And as a matter of fact, um, as long as you start with your mirepoix, which is what we did, a mirepoix is a combination of onion, celery, and carrot, that's what you start your soup with every time. So you can actually throw in any type of vegetable, really, as long as you start with your mirepoix, you add your veggie, you're gonna figure yourself out what you like best, and um, voila, enjoy.